Okay guys, uh, we got a uh, another fried liver game, just turned on the recording. Played a few games tonight, um, not playing too great. I've had some winning positions and then my opponents just like saved these uh, crazy draws. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can improve a little bit here. Let's see where this bishop goes. Uh, another uh, <clears throat> bishop a4 line. All right, so I just posted one today actually, but I didn't actually look at the uh, <clears throat> at the game. So uh, let's see if he ends up going back to g g1 or get this crazy forking line. Yeah, White can get a ton of pawns if he wants to play up. Okay, so I think I said bishop c5 in these lines. I believe so. Oh, was it knight g4? Hold on. No, bishop c5 first, then knight g4. <clears throat> like if he tries that crazy bishop man or a knight maneuver back over to e2, I played uh, bishop g4 if I remember correctly, pinning that knight. But in the analysis, <clears throat> knight g4 was stronger with the idea of queen h4. And just converging on these weak dark squares. So I think um, he's probably supposed to play d4 here, I think. Yeah, d3 does not come with a tempo on the bishop. So that's the big difference. So let's see, if he had played d4, I would have to make a decision. If he plays d3, I don't have to uh, I don't have to take it. So one thing that I could do is try knight g4. And um, what is he going to play there? Knight h3? Um, or is he going to play bishop to e3? Knight g4, bishop to e3, I can take with the bishop. Um, I also wonder about some potential tactics on the queen, like if I'm able to take on f2 with check and then take the queen with my queen, but right now it's blocked. If I take this pawn, and he takes with the queen, takes, takes, I don't really see uh, how I've gained much there. Pushing the pawn, he just takes with the bishop. Uh, if I let him push the pawn on the next move, I won't be able to take it on Passant, but I will be able to take it with the bishop. So, uh, knight g4, knight h3. Does queen h4 do anything there? It hits it again. Queen here. Maybe castles. Alright, I'm going to try this. This isn't the same variation. But uh, maybe also queen f6 is interesting. Because it also keeps an eye on the b2 square. So, if... Hmm. Yeah, if uh, bishop b3, I wonder what, <laughs> if I should almost take with the bishop. Bishop takes, knight takes. But knight takes, pawn takes. Pawn takes. Hmm. Okay, bishop takes, takes, knight takes. He gets a tempo on this knight. Um, and I'm not actually hitting c2 because this bishop's on that. But I am hitting g2. Bishop takes, takes, takes. How's he protecting g2? Maybe queen e2. I take this with check though. But then king here to f1. And he's starting to take this with check and win the knight. So I don't know if that really helps. Knight takes, pawn takes. Bishop takes. Is there anything with knight takes f2? Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen f6, check. Queen can't block. King over. I've given up a lot of material though. King here, I have this check with the bishop. f3 takes. Takes with the pawn though. Takes with the bishop, knight takes, takes. Uh, I don't know. Then I'm getting the rook. I'm not getting the rook because the queen's on it.
Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes f2, king takes f2, queen f6 check. King, king e2, bishop g4, check. Oh, he doesn't have an f-pawn anymore, what am I saying? Uh, knight here takes with the pawn. Hmm. What about knight takes and he just plays like uh, queen e2? Then takes here, queen takes, knight takes rook, takes with check. Uh, I can block with the bishop. All right, I'm going to try this. I, <laughs> this seems really weird, but uh, I feel like there should be something. And it's forcing. It is forcing. It would be nice if I was able to castle beforehand, but... Uh, Oh, actually, I can pick up this uh, bishop here. Maybe that's better. Okay, hold on. Queen f6 check. He can go out with the king. I mean, that seems pretty crazy. But if he goes out here with the king... Check. He would go over... Well, then he might run into checkmate, so... So if queen f6 check, I think he kind of has... He could go back to the dark square, though. This I didn't think about, so I think this is better. Let's do this. And then after takes, maybe takes with the pawn castles. Then uh, what's the deal here? Am I still down a pawn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd still be on a pawn there, but his king is really exposed, so I guess that's a compensation there. Plus, my bishop can come out at some point. I might even have something immediately. Okay, so... Well, should I play the check first? Probably not. Also, if he takes this, now I can take with the queen. Then he blocks, then I take, king takes, and then I don't have anything, so probably I'll castle first. Because that pawn will be weak anyway. Okay. So. Maybe queen to b4 to look at uh, b2. Yeah, taking that with the knight is. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, let's play here so that at least I'm a good amount of squares away from the knight if he takes that with the knight. Oh, he can with the knight. I can't take it with the knight at the moment. So hopefully I'll be castling on the next move. If he plays a3... Hmm, I don't think I can take b2 because then he just comes over here with the... Oh, then I... Yeah, hold on a second. It takes b2. He could play queen over. Then queen trade, rook takes, takes, takes with the pawn. Okay. I can take this now. Take, queen check, bishop block. I get another open line to his king that way. Yeah, let's do that. It's a little bit like playing with fire here because of the check. Well, we can't check here, actually. What am I thinking? We can take with the queen. But I like having another open line to the king. I think that's good. Okay, definitely should castle here. Down to three and a half minutes. Okay. So, I gotta get my other pieces developed. Um, he can't castle, obviously, but let's see. Should I play down here with the queen so that I have bishop a6? Probably should. But is there something better? The rook check. Well, the rook check has to be good, right? Has to be good. Then maybe queen down on bishop a6, like if he goes to a light square. I guess probably he'll go to f2. f2... Maybe the, uh, then I can check here, and then if he goes to a light square, then I have bishop a6. 
And I don't think he can put a piece in on a light square in between that. Here, can he block with the... I can block with the queen. King f2. Queen b6 check. Queen blocks looking for a queen trade. It's even material now. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Um, well, first of all, I can win this knight, right? Should I play this intermezzo move first to connect my rooks? Probably. And, uh, I mean, I if I play... Uh, C5, he can move the knight, obviously, but then... Oh, I should have played that first, because then I would have gotten discovered check on the queen. Okay, let's pin this knight again. Pin it twice. Oh, I also have this knight move. Let's pin this first. And uh, then get the knight into the action. Well, now I can just probably win this. If he puts a rook over here, then I take the rook so that I keep my rook on the D file. And uh, also, I've got. I'm looking here at uh, at e2, but that's protected quite a bit. Uh, just, oh my god! There's so many good moves here. Okay, so just the pawn push. He can't attack my queen or anything. Even with the other knight, oh, I can. He can go here, I guess. But I've got an intermediate check. Yeah, this, there was like so many choices here. I probably might have even chosen the wrong moves. Because the nice thing about like knight c4 is that it, yeah, okay. Um, ah, he can block that check, actually. Rook takes. If knight takes here, rook takes, rook takes, that's no good. This pin is still alive, though, so I don't have to... Uh, yeah, what am I thinking? I'm just really not thinking at all. <laughs> um, if he moves the knight, then obviously I would just take the queen. I also like staying on the sixth rank so that I keep an eye on this bishop, because then if I play like knight c4, and then I have discoveries where the bishop's still protected, like if you were to go uh, queen d3 there. Um, yeah, but with rook, tape coming, rook takes coming next, plus taking this knight, um, that's just probably a little too crazy. All right. Hitting this knight. You can play, try to play like uh, rook f1. Wow, okay. Um... I did not think of that. <laughs> Did not think of that. Uh, however, if he takes this, maybe I can set up like a back rank thing where. Uh, so he takes. Hmm. A minute. Got a minute left. Now, if he takes, I take with the queen. Oh, actually, I take with the queen as check. It's probably not, okay. I was going to say, why not do that? Um, now I want to uh, try to set up some back rank stuff here. Got to watch this potentially lose piece here. Okay, I don't have time to really think about great moves here. He can take this pawn if he wants. But um, I'm trying to set up some back rank stuff here. Uh, okay.
Yeah, this is uh, going to end up being a time loss here. It's kind of a shame. Okay, no back rank stuff. You can take this pawn. Takes, takes, takes. thought it was up material here. Um... Is he forking me? I don't think so. Twenty six seconds. Got to uh, come down the commentary for a second. I'm playing like hyper bullet now. Yeah, this is unfortunate because there's no way I can really uh, play this. I thought it was just up material before, so I totally miscounted uh, after all this stuff. Yeah, there's no increment here, so. I want to switch positions of the rook and the queen if I can, but also I'm kind of playing with fire doing that. He might have uh, checks, like if he moves his rook over. Ah, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I can't take this pawn. Just the rook would have been hanging. Yeah, this is uh, this is really a shame. Really a shame. Um, I mean, he's. Obviously, like the position has gotten to a point where he's probably winning on position two, but uh, yeah, there's no way that I didn't have like ten killer blows in this game. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to really check this out. With this king in the middle and everything—it's crazy. Yeah, I uh, I dropped that knight on the edge of the board. That's uh, that's what I had miscounted. I was uh, for some reason I wasn't looking that at all. I could try for some fancy checkmates on the dark squares, but it's kind of got that covered. It's got a check here, but at the moment I've got it covered. I just don't have any time. Yeah, it's uh, it's a real shame. Ah, it's so disappointing. So yeah, let me uh, let me look at it here while the computer analysis is running, and uh, see uh, where I could have done better here. Hey guys, I'm back here and actually I had to put this video on pause for a couple hours uh, to take care of some things. So um, I did quickly look at this with Stockfish. Um, I didn't look at the chess.com chess computer analysis yet, but man, there are some really, really cool lines in this. So I wanted to show you guys uh, all the stuff I missed basically. Uh, okay, so all this is the opening. And I posted a game yesterday where after bishop c5, my opponent had played knight e2. Now, I actually played that game a few weeks ago, but I remember that the computer suggested knight d4. So looking at some weak squares, and uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, you can't kick the knight immediately because you're on f2. And if he tries a castle, then um, yeah, then you're going here. And he basically has to play h3 here. And then, well, now I've got discoveries on the king. He's probably going to take this. Take with the queen is better because you can rip open the king side after this. Actually, even taking is probably not that good, but you throw this check in here because you're going to use their queen and, and bishop on the light and dark squares. So you bring this bishop in this way. And uh, yeah, obviously if he takes this, he's losing the queen. 
with check, uh, and then you can just start taking pieces. Um, so probably a human player would try something like queen f1, just to like thinking you're out of danger, but then you've got this nice little tactic. And uh, again, pieces are hanging left and right, and uh, you could try to develop this way, protecting the knights with each other, and uh, sort of protecting himself that way. But it's going to be really hard for him to get out of this stuff because um, I think the computer even likes like uh, like queenside castle or something like that, and you get all sorts of cool variations of that. You can take a look at them uh, on your own, but uh, totally winning there, obviously. So, um, and I think I showed a couple other variations in the video from yesterday. But okay. Um, so I had that knight g4 idea in my mind, and so he played d3 here, uh, and I did play this, um, but actually better is a move that I looked at in a previous video and I had forgotten about, which is queen b6. Uh, and so this obviously is still hitting f2, but it's also looking at the weak b2 square, which um, you know pre it kind of prevents him from playing bishop e3, although maybe he has to anyway. You can take, take, and you can take here, or uh, you can also play something like knight g4 here, which is really nice, um, because... I think the best move by the computer is like knight c3, but let's say he like, well, even going here makes no sense because the pawn is just going to be taken. So probably developing and trying to take this pawn at least set up like a blockade. Um, but here you're getting moves with tempo. So like something like this, and I mean, maybe he could have went to d2 actually too. But um, it looks like, okay, he's sort of surviving um, because, you know, he's protecting this laterally, but... I mean, after you just castle, um, this is going to be really, really hard to deal with. I mean, just like to show a variation where you can get something like this. Okay, now you're, you know, in front of the, the queen, so probably he'll want to block that. Um, then you can play bishop a6, and you've got pins up, down, left, and right. And here, I don't really, it's, it's hard to see what he can do because you're threatening to just take this knight, <clears throat> this pawn has been to the queen. So uh, maybe the e2 square really isn't a good square to go to for all those reasons, but d2 also has its problems. So, um, yeah, just too many threats here. So queen b6 would have been killer right away. I mean, it basically had a force win immediately on move 11. So I didn't play this. I played knight g4. And um, yeah, I mean, this still this is a decent move still. I think I just tried to get too fancy. Um, here, I'm totally winning again. And uh, yeah, either capture makes sense. Uh, the one that's not as good is this one here. Uh, but we get something like this where... You know, let's say like if he attacks the bishop, you now you can play queen b6 again. And not only are you defending the bishop, but you're also looking to take this knight, and you're also looking at again this this weak b2 square. So um, there's some variations there that would be still very favorable for black. Um, but better is actually taking this and not recapturing the pawn, but actually playing queen f6. You could also play the check. Okay, but you're you're looking at this mate square, so he's got to prevent that. But there's no way for him to prevent mate and also uh, prevent you taking from b2 and just winning the rook. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I mean, at least here he's diagonally opposed of the, the knight, so he's not going to get, uh, you know, sort of hit with a knight move in any way. But here, yeah, this is just tough. He's losing this, and um, probably you could even take this pawn first. Um, I've taken this pawn first, but, yeah, there's basically there's no surviving that either. So um, I looked at the captures, but I obviously didn't look at them nearly enough, and I wasn't really calculating variations, which is uh, a mistake because... This opening is so sharp, and basically you do have to calculate right from the beginning and try to make sure that you get this win. Okay, so I played this sort of fancy tactic, which was a lot of work for very little, but I did have compensation here in the sense that his king can never castle, so I think he went back to e1. Uh, and after taking this, um, I think he played knight here, here, this is all in the game. And then he played rook b1, yeah. So... Um, yeah, I liked that I took this first. I think this was also approved by the computer just to make sure that he couldn't get this blockading square in so easily, or if he did, it was going to be a little weaker. Uh, okay, I'm just castled here. And yeah, here, um, I mean, I'm still winning, actually. And the thing is, like, he really had to play super precise moves. I can't even remember exactly what he had to play, to be honest. But um, even if he played perfect moves, it was still basically a, a pretty level position, according to the computer. I assume materials equal. Uh, He's got pawn weaknesses just like I do, but his king can never castle. So, I mean, basically you've got an attack here where you didn't even have to invest any material. So uh, this was also okay, even though, um, you know, obviously not as good as just destroying him immediately with the other moves that I showed. So we got this. I just refresh this so I can look here. And, um, okay, he took with the queen, but also it's just another open line, actually. It might even be worse. 
So, um, yeah, the check actually wasn't quite as good here. I'm trying to remember what the... Oh, the computer wanted to play bishop e6, which is a really cool idea. So, in the game, um, I was... I had my bishop on a6, and I was thinking briefly about bringing my knight into c4, so using this weak c4 square. And, uh, of course, it's always kind of hard for him to play b3, because then he's got to watch over this knight. So, um, yeah, I think uh, this would have been a really cool idea, because if something like this, like, let's say he tries to run with his king. Okay, you can centralize your rook. Where's this queen going to go? It's really, it's hard to find squares. Probably e2. Um, you can, you could put another rook over here if you want. Um, he's got to get his king out of the way, so probably he would have to play something like this. But after this check, um, which he can't block with a pawn or a piece because it would just get taken, he's got to play king f1, and now you can see the utility of the c4 square um, just after all those moves. But uh, you had to would have had to have seen really deeply to see that, uh, winning the queen there. But I think that it's, uh, it's possible to think about some of these variations like after you've seen the themes a little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to look for some of that stuff in future games. We'll see how I do. Um, okay, so, but in the game, obviously, I slowly screwed this up. Let's see, so what do we get in the game here? Okay, play the check, which isn't terrible, but it's not as good. Check here, and this is all still great. Like, I'm hitting pieces. Uh, here, actually, I think the computer really liked knight c4. I briefly considered that, but I, I didn't give it enough thought. The thing is that, like, um, this, uh, this knight is not only pinned, but I can take it with check, so he's got to try to defend it. I mean, the queen really doesn't want to come here because then he's going into discoveries. So, I mean, probably the only square that he can go to to, uh, you know, defend this knight is here. But And I actually was, I think I might have mentioned g5. I can't remember. Um, maybe it just crossed my, my mind and I didn't mention it. Um, but, yeah, where is he going to go with the queen? I mean, if he goes, like, let's just say he tries to continue to maintain this, you can actually play knight e5 and you're hitting the queen. And now it's really tough for him to find squares. Um, he's going to be in some sort of discovery, uh, or he's going to have to just leave this this with check. Look, let's just say he goes all the way back or something like that. You can pin this knight again, and you have a similar theme in the game, but there's one difference, is that after you play c5 to try to win this knight, um, if your knight is no longer vulnerable over here on uh, on a5. So And now it's it's perfectly poised to jump into the action. Like, for example, like knight g4 at some point might be a, might be an interesting move. And you've just got all your pieces attacking here, so this is great. So that would that was the idea, I think, behind knight c4, is that if he tries to like defend this, then you're going to activate your your worst piece and just get one more piece into the attack. Uh, it's really hard for him to survive that. So yeah, okay, so I didn't really consider that enough. I think I just played over here and uh, played for this pin. This is still great, actually. Um, here what I played is totally fine, and I don't know what I was... I was miscounting a lot in this game, but... Um, what I played actually also wins, so even giving up the knight here, you can actually just give up this bishop. I think that's the thing. First of all, it's protected, so you're not actually giving it up. But rook e2 is just crushing. I mean, I think the computer recommends actually going back here with the queen to stop the mate, but I don't. obviously most, computers, most human players wouldn't play that. So probably they would play this, just opposing the queen and protecting the square, but then you've got this nice little rook sacrifice here. And uh, probably this rook check is better. And see, so yeah, he's got to go here, and then you've got like a nice little checkmate here with the bishop. So I think you can do his block, and a nice little mate there. So um, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I obviously wasn't calculating enough, but even if I didn't see that, and let's say I went for this, um, which comes with check. So takes, takes, and even if something like this happens, I'm just up a piece. He doesn't even have a pawn for it. He does have a potential, like if he can win this d pawn. He could have a three on one majority. And the thing with three on one majority is, is that they often turn into connected pass pawns. So you do have to be a little bit careful. But uh, I think with the, the extra piece here, it should be um, pretty reasonable to, uh, to convert that. So um, yeah, I don't think any of that would have really worked. So in the game anyway, I managed to screw this up. I've, basically, I've missed how many wins so far, four or five. Um, and uh, what did I play in the game? I can't even remember. Oh, uh, oh, I took with the rook, and then he took here, and I missed that mate. Okay, so I played bishop b2, and then here we got into... Uh, there might even still be wins, but um, at this point I kind of stopped looking at it just because uh, it was such a sad and sorry state, and uh, you know this was, uh, this was just time pressure here. I mean, there's probably... Uh, this is at least probably drawing, but um, I think uh, there's not really a point looking at that. But yeah, there was a lot of cool variations there. 
Um, it's a shame I got a loss out of this, but I think it was definitely a good learning experience, and I hope you guys found something interesting in there too. And I'll see you guys around for the next video.